Okay, today I'm going to create a simple CSS image gallery just to demonstrate CSS tree animations. What you'll need for this tutorial is a simple index HTML file and an images folder just to hold all your images for your gallery. Okay, so within the HTML document that we've just created, I've set up a basic structure just to hold the image gallery. I've used an unordered list with a series of list items that will, that will hold each of the images. Inside the list item I've created an anchor link so that when the user clicks each of the links the image will open up in a light box effect. I've also added two span tags, one span tag that will contain the description of each of the images and another span, the second span tag will will display the pin on top of each of the images. It's more of a personal visual preference than anything else. So that's the basic structure that you'll need just, just to hold the gallery. So at the top of the page I've added some CSS. The first tag I've targeted on the page is my list item. My list item is is essentially going to hold all of the all of the images in the gallery. And I've set the position of this to to relative. The reason why I've done this is because my two span tags need to be absolutely positioned so I can position them exactly where I want them within the list item and this allows me to do that. I've then added some fairly basic CSS styles, borders and padding and margins etc. Um, I've also added a box shadow just to give it a little bit of a of a lift. My first form of animation I've added is a transition. Although this doesn't actually animate the element itself, it adds a timer, in this case of 0.5 seconds, to any animation that I add in the hover states of this element. So as we scroll down here, I've targeted each of the list item with its own class, and I've added a default rotation to this to each of these elements so essentially what this does is it rotates the list item by three degrees on the page as the page loads so it's just a static um, position it, it, there's no animation at this stage as we scroll down then we've targeted the same the same list item classes but we've added a hover effect so essentially what we're doing here is we're removing the rotation. So we're positioning the we're essentially straight straightening up the up the the list items. So removing the removing the rotation itself. And just below that we're actually scaling up the image. So it's we're taking the image from its original size to 1.8 of its original size. So it's basically lifting lifting the image off of the page. I set the Z index of this of this element on hover to 4000 and the reason why I've done this is that I want to make sure that on the hover state of this list item I want this list item to be the most prominent item on the page so everything else sits in behind it. Obviously everything else has to have a, a less or a Z index. The next CSS is targeting the same tags once again, but this time specifically the image tag within the classes of the list items. And I'm just applying a width and a height for these elements. The next CSS is again the list item with each individual class and then I'm targeting the span tags with the class of Ogre. And as you can see the position of these are set to absolute as I explained earlier. These need to be absolutely positioned so I can position these anywhere I like within the list item. And I've added some regular CSS styling margins and colors and heights and widths and stuff like that. So that'll depend on, on the size of your list items. So the next style is 
I've needed to actually duplicate what I've done up here. So I've I've had to add additional CSS individually to each of these elements because I wanted to have slightly different background colors for each of the captions. So this is just an additional CSS style to this style here. But this is given it given each of the of the individual classes a specific color and border. And on the hover state of my span tags I'm displaying block meaning if we just scroll back up here on the hover set I've, I've initially set the display to none so on on the on the on the normal state it won't actually display it won't actually display the span tags and and the description of each image so what I'm doing down here is I'm just overriding that display so essentially re removing this, the display of none and adding display of block so taking it from invisible to visible essentially and here I'm just adding simply adding some padding and margin I'm removing the margin actually to on the on the text within the description this CSS here is my actual pin and the reason why I have important here is I haven't given any of the images a specific class on the page so I want to force all the images within the pin class to have all of these styles so I'm essentially forcing all these styles on this particular class of images and on hover of of the list item of each of the individual classes once again I'm removing the pin class so I'm displaying it to none so essentially when the user hovers over the, the list item the list item pops up and the pin removes as, as though they're after, as, as though the user is after lifting lifting the, the photograph off the wall that's basically it hopefully you can implement that into your own website or project hopefully you didn't nod off and uh, thanks for watching